Hello, I am here today with Erica from Euros Planet Evanston. And if you've missed the other interviews that I've done, right now I'm just interviewing different people in our community who are really going above and beyond and giving back and helping other people out. And so I wanna make sure that one, you guys know all of the good things that are happening so that you can get involved and help as well and also support these businesses because we wanna make sure that they're around once we get past COVID-19 as well. So we'll also let you know because the, they are delivering food uh, for people. So we'll talk about that as well. But before we do that, Erica, could you start and just give us an idea of what you've been doing and how you guys have been involved with the community right now? Yes, um, uh, good afternoon. My name is Erica Castro. Uh, I'm the owner with uh, my husband uh, of Giro's Planet. Um, yes, we start giving uh, free meals for the Latino community um, last April. It was April 8th. And we just made the decision to just do it because we saw many people around, uh, even people from our church that they just call us and I have friends in, in my church and they just call us and say, you know what, Erica, there are people that are in need and they need help. And they start, uh, and I just saw with Pablo, even before when everything started, I told him, you know what, it's time to just do something to help the community because a lot of our community, they are not able to just go and get um, benefit from the government because of the situation, their status in, there are many, many things also that affect the Latino community in particular. Um, for example, the language, the technology. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, that is why I feel that the Latino community is a little bit behind than other communities because they are not able and they are also scared to just get and ask for help. We started with my husband uh, and uh, we uh, when we start, um, we just met um, uh, Chef Q and she came to oh. buy, you know, to the restaurant, yes. And she just said, Erica, um, uh, I'm helping the, the, the African-American community. And I say, oh, that's awesome. I just want to do something similar with the Latino community. And she just, um, uh, she just gave me some advice. And also she said, you know what? I had to $200. And I say, okay, um, we will be started. Uh, we also put our savings and for the first weeks because we're really difficult. We didn't know how to start it. And then little by little, we get help from uh, Evanston Community Foundation, from people that donate food, uh, money. Uh, and it, that is the way that we started. Um, and I'm feeding people that are, I remember the first calls and I just get, they were people crying and um, because they are desesperated, you know, they are like, um, and, and I struggle to get food to my table, bring it to my family. And it's really difficult to see these families. And I just make the commitment that I need to do this. It doesn't matter uh, um, how hard it will be because it's just my husband and I. We are the only ones that we are doing the food packing, and also my kids that they helping us a lot. And it's a family right now. It's um, it's it's a lot of work, but we are doing it because we want to help. That's great. We really appreciate everything you're doing for the community. Um, so if people want to help, is the GoFundMe the best place for them to donate right now? Yes, if they want to uh, help us, yes, that is a good way that they can just call, they can just, um, it doesn't matter the way that they want to just do and help us, um, but the best uh, way is the GoFund. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I have the GoFundMe, it will be posted with us, so people will be able to see that as well. And in addition to feeding all of these families, you're still open for business as well, correct? Yes. Yeah. Um, so first of all, you obviously must have Euros since it's called Euros Planet. But what what are the foods? It looks like you have a pretty extensive menu. So what are what are your things that people like the most? If someone has never ordered from you, 
I think uh, everything is really good. It's not my husband, he cooks really well. Um, and we had different kind. I think is we have really open in an expand uh, menu. We have burgers, we have tacos, burritos, we have a uh, sandwich. Depends on the customer, but the most, the top seller are the tacos and also the gyros. And a lot of people like the jerk chicken tacos. They are really good. It's spicy, yeah, but that, really good. That is what I want to try. So it's a great place if your family um, can never agree on what they want to eat. There should be something for everyone if they order for you guys. Correct. Mm -hmm. And so what hours are you open right now and are you delivering? Okay, uh, because of the, um, we are giving the, um, the free lunches, uh, we will be start open on 12 until eight o'clock uh, every day through Monday to Saturdays. Uh, when it's a little bit slow, um, so, um, sometimes on Saturdays, we close a little bit early, but most of the time it is on eight. We close okay. at, at, at eight. Mm -hmm. And you, do you deliver as well if someone wants food delivered? Yes, yes we do. Uh, we do uh, deliveries. My, um, what I say is my, it's just my husband and I, I do the deliveries. He is in charge of the kitchen and my kids are helping them. Us and, and that is what we are doing. Okay. So if people want to order delivery, I just want to remind you, we've talked about this in other videos as well, but call the restaurant to order. Do not go through Grubhub or other services like that because that takes a lot of the profit away. So whenever you're ordering from any restaurant, try to call the restaurant directly first and order through them for delivery if possible. Um, so especially in this case, call you guys for delivery versus going through Grub Grubhub. Yeah, that is the best thing because for example, they charge us 30%, 25%, 27%, even with the tips and also delivery. And as you see, the percent that we are keeping is pretty slow. And uh, I feel that um, sometimes the customers, they don't know then we are as a restaurant owners we are getting really affected because of these uh companies but i feel that as soon as they understand and they know that uh it's better for us uh than they call the to the restaurant i'm pretty sure that they will do it okay um so please support them so that they can continue to feed these families they're providing a much needed service in the community um donate money through the GoFundMe that you'll see in this link and also make sure you order food and try their delicious food. Thank you very much, Erica. I know you're really busy. Thanks for taking time with us today. Thank you. Thank you for having me here and I really appreciate everything that you're doing. Thank you. Oh, thank you.